Dream Dinners franchise reviews 10 tips for running a business from single mompreneurs. Today's single mompreneurs. As many entrepreneurs know, running a business isn't always easy. Neither is running a family. Running a business and a family takes a lot of responsibility, so it is important to find a balance between the two. A number of moms who have built successful businesses have managed to find ways to run a business and their families with a mixture of intelligence, creativity, and determination. For most of these mompreneurs, starting a business was solely based on creating better lives for their kids, while the other half were inspired by their children to start the business. Dream Dinners franchise reviews 10 tips from single mompreneurs about running their own business and families simultaneously for current and aspiring business owners. Number one, own your single mom status. Two, put your health first. Three, include your kids in your business. Four, bribe yourself. Five, give yourself a break. Six, let it go. Seven, remember, all you need is an idea and serious drive. Eight, be realistic. Nine, focus on the positives. 10, have a support system. Number one, own your single mom status. Angela Benton, founder and CEO of New Me, has accelerated over 300 startups and has helped them raise over $17 million in venture capital funding since her launch in 2011. Her advice? Don't get me wrong, entrepreneurship is a ton of work. However, don't let the perception of this lifestyle count you out before you even count yourself in. Being a single mom comes with a wealth of skills that do well in entrepreneurship, like multitasking, creativity, managing and or operating on a budget, and problem solving to say the least. I don't know about you, but I put my money on someone with these skills rather than a new college grad. Tip two, put your health first. Michelle Laver, mother of four and co-founder of Kate Farms, believes your health is the most important thing. Her advice? I believe that good health is at the root of productivity, both in the workplace and in life. Good health starts with food, and since kids can be picky eaters, if their meals are healthy and taste great, it is a win-win for moms and their kids. Everyone feels better and is healthier. With healthy eating habits, I am able to go to work with a high level of energy that can tackle everything that needs to be done and am safe in the knowledge that my kids are healthy and happy. Tip three, include your kids in your business. The New Orleans brand Flirty Girl was founded by Lauren Tom by using her 2009 tax return of $2,000. Five years later, Lauren owns five locations and manages 30 employees while having three kids of her own. Her advice? You have to make family a part of your business. I've always considered my kids to be my board of directors, whether we're moving or having them share a bedroom so that we can open a store in our house. Make them a part of that journey. And that's for any mom, not just single moms. Our kids are our reason to seek out a better life. Tip four and five. Four, bribe yourself. Ala Feldman is the mother of two and co-founder of Live Like You're Traveling, a global movement to experience life filled with wonder and awe, inspired by people and places from around the world. Her advice? I bribe my inner child with a reward for staying productive for a two-hour stretch. Then I give myself 15 minutes playtime, like having a coffee break or going for a brisk walk outside. I learn this from my kids. If they have something to look forward to, like a play date or going to the pool, they are much more likely to be perfect angels that day. It works for their moms, too. 5. Give yourself a break. Carla Campos is a mother of three and founder of Social Media SaaS, a digital marketing, training, and education company. Her advice? Entrepreneurship, just like motherhood, is not a 9 to 5 job. Some days I stay up until 3 a.m. working and then have to do a 7 a.m. child drop off at school. Be kind to yourself. Make time for you, even if it's just to breathe and smell the air. Kids are going to make messes. 
They're going to eat your reports and download viruses to your computer. Your best weapon is a sense of humor. Enjoy your single mom entrepreneur life. Wear the title proudly. We are basically superheroes. Tips six and seven. Tip six, let it go. Nellie Acklap is a mother of four children and founder of CorpNet, a simple and convenient way to help others start and run a business by preparing and filing the necessary documents. Her advice, let it go. Yes, this is my youngest daughter's favorite song from the hit movie Frozen, but it's also a saying I tell myself about five times a day. Set your perfectionist self aside and let it go. If you try to focus on all of the little things every day with kids, you won't get anything done. I focus on the big picture and plan ahead to keep my business successful and my family happy and healthy. Tip seven, remember, all you need is an idea and serious drive. Melissa Keeling is a mother of three, and like any other parent, she struggled to find a product that kept their child's lunches cool and safe until lunchtime. She patented the idea for a lunch bag with a freezable gel built into its lining, Packet Personal Cooler. Five years later, Packet Personal Cooler has grown into a $14 million business with a variety of products and a distribution reaching more than 40 countries internationally. Her advice? Look for inspiration everywhere. Make note of all the things that frustrate you in your daily life, then research creative ways to address those inefficiencies. All it takes is an idea and an internet connection to create a product that changes the world. Tips 8 and 9. Tip 8. Be realistic. Robin Chase is a mother of three and founder and former CEO of Zipcar and the founder and current CEO of Buzzcar. Her advice? Have intellectual honesty about your skill set, what your customers think of what you're doing, how things are going and then become a learning organization. Tip nine, focus on the positives. Mother of two, Natalie Angelilo, is the founder and CEO of school fundraising startup, SwapBoard.com, and the founder and co-owner of Blow Dry Salon, Swink Style Bar. Her advice? There's enough guilt to go around for any parent, so I make a conscious effort to let it go and focus on the positives. I may have a hectic schedule, and as a result, my children are learning how to be independent and self-reliant. They are getting an inside look at how a startup works by testing our app and coming into the office, which I know will benefit them in the long term. Tip 10. Have a support system. Mompreneur Rachel Katz Galat is the founder of Healthy Mama, a brand that is centered around providing pregnant and nursing women one brand of the safest remedies to help them experience a healthier and more comfortable pregnancy. Her advice? Set up a strong support system. I know that I can't do it all. Ensure that you have people who are willing and able to help you when you need it. It's okay to send out an SOS every now and again. Become a Dream Dinner's franchisee. Does all of this advice from successful mompreneurs inspire you? Consider becoming a mompreneur by becoming a Dream Dinners franchisee. Dream Dinners franchisees give back to their communities by owning a business that aids in building a stronger family unit and a community of healthier children by providing a meal preparation solution to busy mothers and fathers. For more information about how you can become a Dream Dinners franchisee, visit the Dream Dinners franchise information page today. Www dot dreamdinnersfranchise.com